What is up, you guys? Hello, I feel like it's been forever and I sat down in front of a camera. Hey guys, it's Riley and welcome to my channel on this lovely Thursday. In today's video, I am very pumped to talk to you about the truth about shipping. So yes, it is high time on this channel we get into fandom talk, and the first part of fandom talk is talking about ships. So I figured I could talk a little bit about my personal experience with shipping. To start off, if you don't know what shipping is, shipping is basically short for relationship. Get it? Ship? relationship and it's basically where you pair two or more people together in a relationship aspect whether that be platonic romantic sexual whatever and then that's it you just you ship them if you ship them if you like them together you ship them and then there's also the term OTP which I shall be using in this video and that stands for one true pair so that is like the ship of all ships, the ship that conquers all for you. I definitely have a couple OTPs myself. And no, you don't get to know what they are. To start off, I am a multi-shipper. And that basically means I ship multiple people with multiple other people between a multitude of shows. So I don't ship just one pairing. And I got sucked in to this shipping thing by my good friend B, who made me make a Tumblr when I turned 13, and that's what I did. My first ever Tumblr URL was Sherlock's Got the TARDIS. Can you tell that I am a Super Hulak? And A, Super Hulaks have like a bad reputation on the internet, and that's like kinda stupid, cause I'm a Super Hulak. And you would have never known I was a super hulak because I don't shove it in people's faces. Shipping gets you sucked in. Like, you don't have a choice. Like, you start with a show and you're loving everything on this show and it just happens. You don't really know how it starts. And with that, you just kind of ship things involuntarily. And herein is where there are some problematic ships. My OTP is considered a very very problematic ship in a certain fandom. However, they exist. I have them, and it's okay that I have them. To all the people who, like, would bash me and say that, you guys gotta remember that these problematic ships, they're fiction. They are fictional. They are fake. They are not real. And then it's like when you get into start shipping real people, like, I don't approve of that. Like, I don't ship real people because they have real lives and real personal boundaries, but fictional characters have at it. But shipping fictional couples that may or may not be problematic or that aren't or are together, they're not hurting anyone in real life, so you shouldn't have to worry about that. Like I said before, shipping real people tends to be really risky due to personal boundaries of the individual and like when to draw the line with respect. Like I ship some real people, but I don't go around talking about it, I kind of just keep it like in my head and in my heart because I don't want to shove it on social media because if it's not real I don't want to make it bigger than it is and I don't want it to consume my life and I also don't want to be disrespectful to those people. Generally my point of this video is to ship safely and always remember that insulting a man's ship is worse than insulting his own mother. So ship respectfully. And don't hate on anybody else for a fictional ship that they may or may not have because guess what if it's fiction and it's not hurting anybody in real life. It's not invalidating one's experiences. It's not pushing it on anybody else. It's just a fictional ship and it's not a big deal. So yes, that is it. That is my outline of the truth about shipping. I really hope you enjoyed and kind of relate to this video because I feel like if you're as entrenched into fandoms as I am, you definitely relate to this video. And if you did relate to it in any sense or enjoy it, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and comment down below if you're comfortable sharing what is your OTP or what are some of your fave ships. I really look forward to reading those comments down below and responding to a couple of them. If you want, you can also share this video with other people if you would like to do that because I feel like some people might need this reality check. If you want, if you enjoyed it, and if you liked me so much, you might want to subscribe to my channel because I post two videos a week here, one on Tuesdays and one on Thursdays, so that is two videos a week coming your way. guys. We are also super, super, super close 
to my goal of 550 subscribers, so if we haven't hit it by the time this video goes up, you know what to do. Go tell someone, ask someone to subscribe, send my channel their way, promo the shit out of me because I really need it. I would really respect that. And yes, you can also be sure to follow me on all of my social media if you wish. It is at the Riley Kyle on all platforms. If I have a social network, it's going to be under the Riley Kyle, so you can find me on any of those. Also, if you want the links to my socials, they are down below. So are the links to my side channel and my collab channel. That is all I have for you guys today. I really hope you enjoyed again, and I love you, and I will see you on Tuesday. Bye!